When the people of Israel realized that God had shut them out of the land of Canaan for forty years, they became filled with a rebellious spirit. A number of them banded together and made an attack upon the Canaanites in spite of God's commandment. The attack failed, and the beaten survivors returned to the camp. But the people's mutinous spirit grew more violent. Men, you all know me. I'm Korah the Levite, the son of Issar. And here on the platform with me are Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, both good men. For many months we've been content to follow Moses. Where has it got us? Nowhere. We're still in the wilderness, still living from hand to mouth, on manna and insufficient water. And now Moses tells us that we're not to enter Canaan after all. We're to wander around in this accursed wilderness for 40 years. We are all reasonable and sensible men. There are among us no fewer than 250 princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. I say that it is neither reasonable nor sensible to go on following Moses like sheep. The time has come to take the leadership away from Moses. And Korah and many of his followers went up unto Moses and Aaron while Dathan and Abiram returned to their tents. Moses and Aaron, you take too much upon you. Seeing the congregation are holy, every one of them. You and Aaron have set yourself up as gods. And we're not the only ones who believe this, either. Who else beside you? Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. Ask Dathan and Abiram to come here, please. Ha! Does Moses take us for fools? Has he now set himself up as a prince over us? No, we will not come. We will not obey his every whim. Where are Dathan and Abiram? They are afraid to come. Afraid to come? What do they think I will do to them? Have I ever hurt one of them? Have I ever taken anything away from them? You have taken our rights from us. High priest, judge, ruler, leader. You have taken all these things upon yourself. You stand next to God over the people. No wonder people fear you. As I have said, we will let the Lord judge between us. Take your censers and light them before the Lord. And they took every man his censer. Two hundred and fifty men, as well as Aaron and Korah, put fire in them and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. Moses and Aaron speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, that the Lord may destroy them. Hear me now, people of Israel. If Korah, Dathan, and Abiram die the common death of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing and the earth open up her mouth and swallow them up, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. The earth has swallowed them up! Run for your lives! The earth will swallow us all! The Lord is burning me up! The fire of the Lord came out and consumed the 250 followers of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, even as they offered incense to the Lord in their censers. And the people of Israel were afraid. But the next day they began to murmur once more against Moses and Aaron. Korah was right! Moses and Aaron killed him! They killed 250 of the Korah's followers! They used the power of the Lord for their own evil ends! Dathan and Abiram were right! And the angel of the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, Moses, that God may consume them as in a moment with a plague. Destroy not the whole congregation, angel, for the iniquities of the few. Spare the people of Israel. Spare them. Moses, Moses, 
The people have been stricken with a plague. They are dying like flies. Then take a censer, Aaron, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. At once, Moses, at once. Give heed to our prayers, Lord, and spare the people. And Aaron did as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation, and he stood between the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. <laughs>